Jones is Mr. George Smith of Edinburgh, who gets the game underway in excellent conditions. Huge crowd, of course, inside Celtic Park, and some interesting team news. Celtic bringing back uh, Pat Bonner, and Danny McGrain is playing at right back in his 19th year at Celtic Park. 36 years old, bringing him back to look after Davy Cooper on the Rangers' right. The Rangers on the attack, straight away, and that's played over the top by Durant. Colliding with the post, a superb move from Rangers right at the start of the match, but it could be disastrous in terms of the damage done to Ian Durant. So the move developing on the right with Robert Fleck racing through on the right flank, driving the ball low across goal. Durant got to the ball first. It was played over off the crossbar, and Durant collides with the post. Was a superb move from Rangers. Ian Durant appears now to be all right. And there's no question at all that Rangers will be anxious to keep Durant involved in the proceedings. Such an important player this season. Well, Rangers captain Terry Butcher, in contrast to McGrain, making his first appearance at Celtic Park. And the Rangers captain. with the safety first pins. Stuart Monroe heading it forward. Robert Fleck up front for Rangers being preferred to Ted McMinn who's on the Rangers bench. And a late tackle there from Shepard on Durant. And referee Smith taking immediate steps to put things under control. Well, a rough start for young Ian Durant. First knock was accidental, that one perhaps a little bit careless from Tony Shaw. Aiken turning away from Fleck. Williams finding Fraser. White. Get out of space on the left. Trying to play football in the defence, that's certainly a feature of this young man's game. Good play from Cooper. Cover again from young Derek White. Cooper. And Fraser wins the corner kick off Modern McLeod. So Rangers, of course, can be dangerous from these situations. Dave McPherson going to the near post. Terry Butcher, interestingly enough, has stayed back this time. David Cooper with the in-swinger. Looping the ball across. And touched calmly over by Bonham. Restored the fitness after missing the midweek match against Clyde Bank. Cooper with the outswinger this time, and it's just a easy for Bonner. Good, confident goalkeeping. Cooper's header. White sending it to the middle. High ball won by Butcher. This Paul McStay. Fraser getting back to help in defence. They didn't quite make it. That's the Rangers goal kick. Touched on by Ferguson and McLeod sending it back to Pat Bonner. So both sides committing three men to attack. Celtic have McClure supporting Johnston and McGee. Free kick, a high challenge it appeared, but the referee quite convinced that all the players are going for the ball. Here's Mo Johnston. That struck the hand of McPherson. Appeals for a penalty kick waved aside. There's no question the ball struck the left arm of Dave McPherson. And referee George Smith plays play on, deciding I think that the handball was accidental. Here's McClare. That's missed by Butcher. And straight across it goes to Tammy Fraser. Well, that certainly was controversial. 
The ball played into the box towards Mo Johnston, trying to turn to find space. McPherson going down awkwardly, the ball definitely touching him on the arm. But I think the referee was right to decide that was accidental. As well anticipated by Fraser. The referee allowing play to go on. He would have whistled, I think, for the infringement on the cloud, but Celtic had possession. Some good refereeing by George Smith. That's Paul McStay. Fine play by Paul McStay. Looking full of energy and imagination midfield for Celtic. And Celtic profiting a little from their alteration in midfield, switching Paul McStay to the middle with Peter Grant going to the left. And good assured play again from young Derek White. Just 18 years old, a superb defender. They're playing it wide for Shepard. Next day again, making himself available. Tackled by Durant. Here's Cooper. Running into the grain. against Durant, taken quickly by Shepard. Danny McGrain looking for someone coming short. Here's Grant. McLear blocked by Woods. Here's Paul McStay and the flag is up. On the near side, an offside decision I think. Well that was almost an opening goal for Celtic. There is some uncertainty in that Rangers defence, allowing the ball to break to Brian McClare. He may well be the man offside, but it was a good stop by Woods. Good header again by Aiken. It came off Shepard. There's Cammy Fraser. Good running by Nicholl on the right for Rangers. Nicholl again. Ferguson to Durant. Robbed by Mother McLeod. Robert Fleck trying to get back. Good play from McLeod. Mark McGee hanging back, digging up. Good position on the right. McClear, Grant, McLeod. Came off with chance. Some faint appeals again for a penalty kick. Again, the referee not interested, but some superb attacking play from Celtic. Breaking down in the end. Well, Mother McLeod, certainly the author of that piece of attacking play from Celtic. Climbing out of defence, striding through, shrugging up Robert Black, playing the ball wide for McGee. When the ball came in, some good interplay among the Celtic strikers. In the end, they couldn't find a way past Chris Woods. Well, this undoubtedly is an excellent spell for Celtic. Taking a grip from midfield. Paul McStay very much at the heart of it all. Now McGee. Here's McLear. He's touched it past Woods. Ryan McLear makes it 1 0 to Celtic. And that goal has been on the cards. A tumultuous reception from the Celtic fans. Ferguson, Monroe making a run on the left, Ferguson goes right, Jimmy Nicol, now McPherson, he's found space over there on the right, and a great defensive hit of that from Aiken, there's McPherson again, and Fleck with a great chance for Rangers, not in wide, intrusion of Dave McPherson into the attack which made all the difference for Rangers providing the extra man popping up there on the right, playing it across a fine header out from Roy Aiken initially 
passing wide again, and that cross was telling me for Robert Fleck, but the header was off top. Oh, the light will play from Ferguson once again. Durant finding space. Now Fraser on the right, supported by Nicol. McCoist. Good header by McCoist. Got in there in front of Roy Aiken. White to McStay. Tremendous vision, Paul McStay. McGrain back sharply to give the ball to Aiken. Aiken fiercely challenged by Ferguson. The free kick's been given. Aiken wants to take it quickly, but I'm sure referee Smith will want to calm things down a little. Referee calling for Roy Aiken. Well, Aiken is a very experienced player, really should be able to keep things a bit calmer than that. Reacting very angrily to the fierce challenge from Derek Ferguson. Celtic free kick all right, a walk with Ferguson also from the referee. They send it in, Chris Woods on the six-yard line. So free kick's been given against Mo Johnston for trying to just nip the ball out of Woods' hands. The layoff from Fleck, here's Cooper. Fraser sees Ferguson going to the right. That's for Durant. Good effort by Durant. And well saved by Bonner. There was an offside flag up, but that run from Durant on the blind side of Shepard almost made it because there must have been a very tight decision there for offside. The downward header and a good save from Bonner. Well, now into time added on for stoppages in the first half. There was a lengthy stoppage early on for the injury to Ian Durant in the opening minutes. And now Rangers have a free kick. Peter Grant is being spoken to by the referee, clearly for a little spot of dissent. And the first half, there's no question at all, has been very sensibly and firmly controlled by referee Smith. Hasn't had to use any yellow cards at all but kept this fiercely competitive match well under control header from McGrain uncertainty there in the Celtic defence Ferguson plays it in, White gets the ball in front of McCoist well that's a fine pass from Nicol in from Cammy Fraser, Bonner's in trouble, there's David Cooper. And a golden opportunity goes a begging for Rangers. Right on the half-time whistle. A dreadful error of judgment from Pat Bonner coming for the high ball from Cammy Fraser. He missed it completely. Cooper had the chance on that narrow angle and sent the ball into the side netting. And what a difference that would have made as half-time is called by referee Smith. So a tremendous first half, full of all the good things in the game. Celtic deservedly snatching a lead on the 25th minute when Brian McClure broke clear of the Rangers defence to knock the ball beyond Chris Woods to make it at half-time. Celtic 1, Rangers 0. So a very important 45 minutes in prospect. Rangers going by a goal and four points behind Celtic in the Premier Division. And of course, if the scorelines did the same, there would be a six-goal, a six-point gap, which would be very difficult to close, I think. So it's a very important period for the Rangers side. Here's David Cooper going through the middle himself. Stopped by McGrain. Kept his eye on the ball to make the challenge. And Cooper out of luck again as he was right at the end of the first half. David Cooper trying very hard to compensate for that miss right on the half-time whistle.
clearance from White, there's Mark McGee. Butcher lofting it forward. McGrain turning away from Bonner as Fleck cut off the road to goal. Here's Stuart Munro. Now Fleck. Cooper back on the left touchline. And finding Danny McGrain as tough a customer as he has been for a long, long time here at Celtic Park. A good catch by Bonner. And Rangers have no doubt spent a lot of the time at the double working out how to cope with the midfield strength of Shepard next day and Grant has dominated long periods of the first half for Celtic well, here's a key man for Rangers Derek Ferguson forcing Jimmy Nicholl to turn back playing it inside and Celtic again trying to ease themselves calmly into the second half action and protect that one goal cushion from any early onslaught from Rangers here's Durant brought down was he by Grant no says the referee Aiken striding forward Butcher going in behind Butcher this captain wouldn't be denied for that tackle. Mark McGee is away from Monroe. There's Johnston waiting. Nickel got to it first. Ferguson trying to find Fraser. Grant going in with a searing tackle. Rangers have it again. Fraser to McPherson. Well, this is when Rangers have been the most dangerous when they've sprung McPherson from the back. Now Durant, Ferguson. Razor always providing the width on the right for Rangers going forward. Durant to Fleck. Good turn with the striker. There's a chance. Unusual 
dangerous situation for David Cooper making tackles in defence. Explaining to Rafi Schmidt that he was going for the ball. I think that's accepted even by Mother McLeod. So free kick will be taken by Paul McStay. Aikens in the box. So is Derek White. Keep it down, couldn't quite make it. Tammy Fraser is going off. And the replacement, who will undoubtedly get a huge welcome from the Rangers fans, is Ted McMahon. Durant McMahon. It's away from the grain. Easily picked up by Roy Aiken. And Ferguson doing a good job for Rangers, cutting off the run from Aiken before it really started. Aiken flighting it towards McClear. McMinn keeps it in play. Some trouble on the far side. Whitman playing the ball forward now. I think it's Mark McGee who may be in ball. Well, is it Paul McStay? Well, McStay and McMinn clearly were involved after McMinn played the ball forward. The linesman right on the far side there, on the spot, and George Smith also. So sadly, a booking. For Paul McStay and the first booking of the match at that. So a late challenge by McStay, and obviously there must have been an angry reaction from Ted McMinn. So he too is being booked. So the first real sign of nastiness in the match. Characteristically, Paul McStay is involved. Paul McStay and McMinn certainly not the likeliest of players to be involved in a skirmish of that kind. There's Durant playing it wide. Nicol to McCoist. Cooper. Durant tackled by Shepard. These two have had some rare tussles this afternoon. Shepard and Durant. They are trying to find Johnston, but Butcher was in the way. Players header, but Butcher again is there ahead of Mo Johnston. Shepard picks it up. Archdeacon has McLeod on the outside. 
Michael Johnston through the middle. And a superb tackle by Terry Butcher. Excellent play from Celtic coming forward. Johnston getting a brief glimpse of goal, and that was eliminated instantly by that tackle from Terry Butcher. That's Deacon, long corner kick right to the far side. Person helped it on. Here's Shepard. Wynn wins it for Rangers. Flick is about the only man up in support at the moment. And Grant keeps calm to win possession. Shepard now testing the pace of Munro, who shows he's got plenty. And copes with that potential problem for Rangers. in the box from the Celtic men who thought that the pass may have benefited Celtic more. Chris Woods clearly unhappy about the lack of cover on the other flank. And Ryan McClure still demonstrating his amazing stamina. possession so the inevitable look of innocence from Owen Archdeacon this time so a set piece from Rangers Cooper is involved so is Durant Matt Bonner clearly not entirely happy with his wall he's alright now as Durant plays the ball across and Aiken barred into by Harry McCoist. We kick the self. Fiercely fought. One each situation. McCoy's header on, and there goes the final whistle. On our indeed restore to both clubs a match played in excellent spirit. No serious problems. A mild skirmish in the second half resulting in the only two bookings of the match. But the most important statistic, of course, was the fact that Ali McCoist, three minutes into the second half, equalised the first half goal from Brian McClare. And I have the distinct feeling that both sides leave the field pretty contented. For the to the left.